Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a good day today. Um, and I wanted to show you some of the work that I did today. These are all some things from your Easter packet. Um, and then at the end of this video, I'm actually going to read a story for you. It's one of my favorite stories, and it's probably a story you've heard before, and it's actually a book that has some music with it. So first thing I want to show you, um, I'm going to actually be able to move the camera down so I can actually show you some of the things that I worked on today. And again, all these things were in your Easter packet. So the first thing I want to take a look at is that book that I put in your packet for you, Bunny, Bunny. What do you see? So this book, we've had um, a lot of other books with that same pattern in it, which is from an old favorite, um, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? And we've had this pattern lots of times. So if you have not read this book yet, I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to read it along with you. Let me just turn it so you can see it. And I'm going to read it using all of my superpowers, all the things that you should do at home. Tomorrow, I think I will reread this. And then when I reread it, I'll probably color it too. So I can practice reading and then practice coloring. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? And there's that mark right there. Remember, if we see that mark, it means the author is wondering something. It's a question mark. Make sure you use your pointer power. I see some snap words. I see you and see, I, me, see. There's that snap word one. So this book is full of snap words and a pattern for your pattern power. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? There's the question mark. I see one. This is a color word. So we're gonna have to use our sound power here. P purple egg looking at me. Did you notice I went back and I did my reread power for that purple? I see one purple egg looking at me. Well, I don't see any purple eggs. So think about what we're going to have to do when we reread this. We'll have to add those purple eggs and color it. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? I see, here's a snap word, a number word, two, another snap word, color word, red. You could also use your sound power, red, red, eggs looking at me. So I'll draw two red eggs in the grass tomorrow. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? I see, now I remember this is the word three. When we talk about this word in math a lot, it's a number word for three, but you could also think about what would come next in the story, what makes sense. First you saw one egg, then two eggs, three, p, ink, pink. I see three pink eggs looking at me. Make sure when you're using your pointer power that you're pointing under the word and not on top of it with your finger. You want to see the word under the word. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? I see four blue eggs looking at me. I'll have to do four blue eggs. Bunny, bunny, what do you see? I see five orange eggs looking at me. And now on the last page of this story is an activity and the directions tell us to draw a line from the number word to the correct amount of eggs. So boys and girls, I would normally be using a pencil. It's hard to sh for the pencil to show up on the video, so I am using a pen. But first I'm going to count. I'm going to count the eggs, and I see one egg, one egg, one. The number word one is a snap word. There it is. So now I'm going to draw a line from the number word to connect it with the number of eggs. Now I'll count one, two, three, four. 
there's four eggs and now I have to find the word four. Ooh, now four isn't a snap word that we know, but we have practiced number words. This can't be four. I need the F. Ooh, that could be four. That's one. That's two. Ooh, this one starts with F. But if I use my sound power, that's the word five. So there's the word four. I'm going to draw a line to connect. One, two. I know T-W-O is the number word two. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Notice I'm touching and counting. I remember this is the word five. And one, two, three. This is the word three. So tomorrow when I go back and practice this book, because remember, it's okay to read a book more than once. In fact, I love reading books more than one time. I will go back tomorrow and I will reread and I'll get my crayons out and I will also color each page to add the purple egg and the red egg and the orange eggs and the pink eggs and the um, blue eggs, I think. So the other thing that I did today, I worked on a couple of the pages that were in our book. I really liked and I wanted to do the read, write, and draw to practice pattern reading and sound power and drawing. And then I also did labeling the Easter bunny. So for my read, write, and draw, I had the words swim, swim fly, and hop, hop. I am a rabbit. I can hmm. Hop is the only one that made sense. So I wrote the word hop. And then you can cross it off because you'll only use it one time. I am a, hmm, look at the picture clue, bird. I can fly. Cross off the word fly after you write it. I am a, there's a picture clue, duck. Duck. I can swim. Write the word and cross it off. And then the directions say to draw the picture. So I drew a picture of a hopping bunny, a flying bird, and a swimming duck. And then on the next page, I did label the bunny. So I had the word whiskers, nose, ear, mouth, and eye. And then I thought about each one of those words. And after you write the word, you can cross it off. Ear. Labels are pointing to the part. So this is pointing to the eye. This arrow is pointing to the nose. These are all called labels. This is pointing to the rabbit's mouth. And this one is pointing to some of the rabbit's whiskers. So those are two activities from the book that I finished. And then another one that I thought might be fun to practice some sound power, beginning sounds of words, would be to guess which basket these pictures go in. So at the bottom, you had to cut off a strip of pictures. And actually, boys and girls, my glue stick, I had to go to the store and I had to get a new glue stick today because the glue stick I had at home already died. If you come to school next week and your glue sticks are empty and you don't have any at home, make sure you ask mom or daddy to let me know and I'll try to bring some extra glue sticks that I can pass out and put in your packets if you need them because I know we're doing a lot of pasting and um, gluing. So these words start with the B, B, bat. These words start with C, K, cat. So my first word is a butterfly, B, butterfly. That's going to go in the B basket. Then I have this, and it could be a rabbit, but a r rabbit, I don't have that word. So it must be a B, B, bunny, B, 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 B. I have a carrot, k -k carrot, k -k cat. 
I have a b -b bird and another, ooh, it's a cat, just like our picture cards at school, and a k -k candy. So I have three b words, b words, and three c words. So that didn't take too long. All right, boys and girls, now I want to leave you with a story. And this story is called, Here Comes Peter Cottontail. And there's actually a song called, Here Comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the pony trail, hippity hoppity Easter's on his way. And this book is a singing book. So when we open the cover, you will hear the music for the story. So that's how we'll end our video today. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Bring in every girl and boy. Baskets full of Easter joy. Things to make your Easter bright and gay. Oh, look at East Peter Cottontail brings everything to make your Easter happy. He's got jelly beans for Tommy. Colored eggs for Sister Sue. Let's see what else he brings. There's an orchid for your mommy. An orchid is a kind of flower. And an Easter bonnet too. An Easter bonnet is another word for a hat. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail. <laughs> Look at him. Hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, happy Easter day. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail. Look at him, stop and listen to him say. Try to do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, he'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. You'll wake up Easter morning and you'll know that he was there. Look at her, she's out looking for Easter eggs. When you find those chocolate bunnies that he's hiding everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity happy Easter day. All right, and boys and girls, that is the end of our video today and my story. Um, I just have to hold that up so you can see me. And I hope you have another great day tomorrow. I hope you have some fun learning at home and getting ready for your Easter. Bye.